A new video emerging this morning of another police shooting last night in Minnesota. We're waiting for a back. I will, sir. No worries. I will. Viewed more than one million times before being taken down on Facebook. The video shows a traffic stop turned deadly. 32-year-old Philando Castile, along with his girlfriend and her child, pulled over last night, the beginning of the incident not on tape. But Castile was shot, his arm bloodied, the woman in shock, but continuing to live stream the situation on Facebook. In the video, she says that Castile had a license to carry a firearm. She says she warned the officer that he would be reaching to his pocket to get his ID. The officer appears agitated. Told him to get his hand off He had, you told him to get his ID, sir, and his driver's license. She says the officer fired, reportedly four times. Castile, transported to the hospital, later dies from his injuries. Outraged family members and residents heading to the local hospital to protest. As hundreds gather at the governor's mansion overnight demanding answers. No justice, no peace. This as protests in Baton Rouge continue overnight as a second video is released showing another angle of the deadly shooting of 37-year-old Alton Sterling. This new video showing one officer pinning Sterling to the ground, while another officer kneels on his arm outside of Baton Rouge convenience store. You can see one officer drawing his gun, and moments later, shots fired. An officer then removes something from Sterling's pocket, Sterling dying at the scene. Sterling's family wants answers. I want justice for Al. That's what I want. I want justice for him.